it's really doughy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my freezer's empty, my fridge is empty, I'm, I have no more cheese left, so it's time for a Costco trip. I haven't been in probably five weeks, and my van has not moved since that time, so it might be a short trip if my van does not start. Uh, fingers crossed that it will. So let's try and go to Costco. All right, come on, baby. Oh, woo -hoo! Okay, we're off to Costco. I did a little research. There are 16 Costco's in Korea. Uh, compare that to 26 Costco's in Japan. Most of the ones in Korea are located in and around Seoul with a few, uh, there's two in Daegu, one in Busan. I go to two different locations. Uh, the one closest to me is about seven kilometers away. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it takes about 20, 25 minutes to get there. Um, the other one that I use is Guangmyeong, and it is about a th maybe 35, 40 minute drive, and I gotta take the expressway. Um, the only reason I would go to there instead of the one near me is because it opens uh, earlier. It opens at eight o'clock. Uh, the one closest to me is 10 o'clock, so if I need to go earlier, uh, I will go to Guangmyeong, or if I need to go to Ikea, because Ikea is right next door. As an adult in Canada, I didn't have a Costco membership. Uh, in fact, I can't remember the last time I went to a Costco in Canada. I used to go with my family a lot, and I always enjoyed it. Uh, every time we would go down to Toronto uh, on our way back to our small town of Perry Sound, we would stop by Costco. It was always an enjoyable experience, uh, but these days... different reasons I like to shop at Costco. Uh, number one, it cuts my shopping time down. I, instead of going once at once a week, once every two weeks, I'm here once a month, maybe every five weeks. This is probably the longest I've been without a uh, Costco trip. It's been maybe five and a half, six weeks. I gauge when I need to come to Costco by my level of cheese in the fridge. If the cheese runs out, it's time to go to Costco. Other reasons I like is there's just things that you can't find or you can find or it's just uh, more difficult to find and those mainly being cheese, uh, dill pickles, uh, frozen burgers. There is the army bases in Korea, the US army base. And apparently those grocery stores are like shopping in the US. So I've never been there so I can't tell you anything about that. So there's other things that you can find in, in most grocery stores. It's just here you get much more for much less. So that would be mainly peanut butter, uh, salsa, steaks. One thing I've learned about uh, Costco shopping in Korea is that you try to avoid Saturdays, Sundays, and the day or two before any big national holidays. It is a zoo, it is crazy. Um, I, I did it once on a Saturday and I swore to myself I'd never do it again. So I usually come on a, a morning before work. As you can see, the parking lot on the roof is empty. It is uh, just before opening, so, uh, 10 minutes before they open. So my shopping list for Costco is uh, pretty much the same every time. I don't need to get everything every time. Let's see, we got pickles, jalapenos, olive salsa, peanut butter, some jam, protein bars, which they didn't have last time, uh, cheddar cheese, camembert cheese, uh, some frozen fish, I'm hoping for salmon. They have not had salmon uh, the last three or four times I've been here. So I don't know if they're gonna have that. Uh, always get frozen veggies, some a package of burgers. Uh, maybe I'll get some rice, tortilla wraps, 
Uh, this time, I, I usually only buy food, but I'm almost out of conditioner, so shampoo and conditioner. And I'm gonna check out the wine. Uh, wine's usually pretty cheap. So that's what I'm looking for today. Usually I spend between anywhere 170,000 won to 250,000 won. Uh, I'm estimating today to be on the higher end. Costco is of course uh, cash only, unless you have a Samsung card, which I do not. So I will be paying cash today. I went to the bank yesterday, pulled out some cash. Uh, oh, I guess I should mention the money, right? One thing that's great about Korea is there's no added tax. So what you see on the on the price tag is exactly what you will pay at the cash register. It's uh, I love it. It's great. It makes it easy for calculating um, as I shop how much I'm going to be spending. It's not exactly correct, but I always equate 1,000 won to one Canadian dollar. So when you see a price in there, um, just take off three zeros or take off the last three digits, and that's what it is in Canadian dollars. I got to put my mask on and grab the shopping bag and we're ready to go. Korea's got these nifty little cart escalators. Uh, there's some kind of stop on the, on the wheels, which means uh, you can take your hands off them. They just kind of stand. Look, Ma, no hands. As you can see, the layout is very similar to any Costco back home. Everything looks the same. There's a few more Korean people in this one than there is back home. I always get my dry stuff or non-refrigerated stuff first. So I start at the front. Lots of vitamins. I see no protein bars. Protein powder, protein powder, protein powder, no protein bars. Den bekjil ba opseo. Okay. I can scratch that one off my list. Oh, oh my God, I'm in luck. Okay, protein bars. I go to calculator, 27, 690 plus. Okay, next we're on the hunt for pickles, jalapenos, olives, salsa, peanut butter, and jam. That should be the next section. I think I'm gonna skip rice this time. Rice I can get at any any corner store. Spam is a, uh, actually, it's almost like a gourmet food here. It's quite popular as a gift for holidays. On many occasions I've got spam give, gifted to me before a holiday. And here we go, okay. Dill pickles. And jalapenos, peanut butter. Mm. Uh, maple syrup isayo. Jipe saw isayo. Peanut butter is a little expensive. 17, 990. Strawberry jam, which is nice and cheap. 5, 490. Before I go for the refrigerated stuff and the frozen stuff, I'm gonna show you guys the alcohol section. Uh, Costco's got a very big selection of wine and beer. Uh, pretty cheap. I never buy the bottles. I drink my wine by the box. Boxes of wine are usually over on the side. So Costco's definitely the place you wanna come for your liquors. What do we got here? We got some Kirkland whiskey for 22, 1.75 liters, Irish whiskey for 50,000 won. If I'm buying whiskey, which I'm not today, this is what I go for. You get one liter of whiskey for 13.5, uh, but I usually don't drink whiskey in the summertime. Whiskey's a winter drink for me. You got some Jim Bean for 62, Fireball for 32, a liter Jack Daniels for 54,000 won. Vodka, 30. 
We got a huge bottle of tequila for 42,000 won. But like I said, I'm not here for that today. I'm here for a box of wine. So that's usually at the end. There we go. Hardy's, five liters of wine for 18,990. Wine. Starting to get busy. I've never tried frozen spinach before. I have a little bit of asparagus left. Uh, you can get green beans. Uh, sometimes I get those, but usually I get the Normandy style for 14. Frozen avocado. I have some mango at home. Strawberries. Ooh, raspberries and blueberries. I think I might try those next time. Yeah, we got potato patties, french fries. I never eat this stuff. I always have to make sure that I'm gonna have room in my freezer. Uh, I don't have a lot of freezer space. So, oh, nice, 12 bucks. Bacon. So as far as I know, Costco's the only place where you can find real bacon. Oh yeah. Okay, fingers crossed, looking for salmon. Salmon. They got smoked salmon. I want the salmon steaks. They haven't had it for a few months. And I'm out of luck. So, I'm gonna go with more tilapia. 22. Uh, just need burgers. Uh, it's getting really busy in here now. It's only been open for 25 minutes. Oh, there we go, burgers. Uh, they're not the best quality, but it's all I can find. Okay, my list is getting smaller, that's a good thing. I would get some frozen pizza, the only problem is uh, none of it fits in my freezer. Korea does have a lot of dried fish. Not one of my favorite things. Cooked and peeled quail eggs. And the cheese. So, one thing about cheese in Korea, when I first got here almost 10 years ago, it was impossible to find real cheese. All they had was the processed slices. Um, I actually used to take the train into Seoul uh, to go to Itaewon, the foreign foreign district, and buy my cheese there. I think it was about 15,000 won or 20,000 won for one of these. But here, I get it for 7,791. And this is the gauge. When this runs out, it's time for another Costco trip. That'll last me four or five weeks. We got Monterey Jack. I always go for the Sharp Colby Jack. Uh, I don't know what that is, Tillamook? Oh, Pepper Jack. Can't believe it's not butter, cream cheese. Uh, cheese is not a traditional food in Korea, but it's becoming quite a bit more popular. One thing you cannot find here, actually I've seen it at E-Mart, uh, super expensive is cottage cheese. I really miss cottage cheese. I always pick up one of these when I'm here. Three, four, 9,890. Produce, now I never, I don't usually buy produce here. Sometimes if I go shopping with a friend, we'll split on a box of fruit. But uh, I have no friend with me today and I do not need a full box of fruit myself. So I will not be getting any fruit, but I'll take you on a little tour around the produce department. What are these things? Anyone know what those are? Peas? Beans? I don't know. It's hard to believe it's only a Thursday morning here and it's this busy. Look at the size of this asparagus. Asparagus on steroids. 
And the baked goods, what do we got here? How much is the cake? 24,000 won. Or 13,000 won for a dozen egg tarts. Costco's the only place I can really find real hot dog buns. It's hard to find real bagels in Korea, but Costco's always got them. Croissants. Another thing that's hard to find in Korea is uh, deli meat. They don't really have uh, the deli meat I'm used to back home, except Costco does. Canadian bacon, all right, cool. We got some salami. Oh, I should talk about sausages. Sausages you can find in Korea. They are not the same sausages we get back home. Um, I really miss barbecuing sausage, like real sausage. This stuff just isn't quite the same. It looks the same on the outside, but it definitely doesn't look the same on the inside. It doesn't taste the same either. Ah, and then we got Korean style bulgogi. Hot deli. Here we got a whole chicken cooked, rotisserie chicken for, ooh, that's not bad. 6,491. When I get steak, usually this will be the kind of steak I get. 35. 6,000 won. Yeah, looks good. I got room. One thing left, salsa, can't find it. Okay, it seems my calculation was off just a little bit. I thought it was gonna be 258. It's actually 268, so I, I missed a product in there somewhere. So they've removed all of the chairs and tables because of COVID. Let's go take a look. Uh, chicken Caesar salad, hamburger steak with fried rice, bulgogi. I haven't, I haven't tried these, I've heard about them. Uh, chicken bake or bulgogi bake. It's, looks like a big hot pocket. Uh, you got the pizza, of course, this is, the, I think, one of the only places in Korea where you can buy just a slice of pizza and not have to buy the whole pizza. Uh, Costco hot dogs and BLT, some soup, and they got some drinks over there, some ice cream. Usually I get the pizza, but I'll try this bulgogi bake today. I'll give it a try. Yeah, so uh, bulgogi bake, Chuseo. Ne. Hey, come see me now. Nate. Oh. No. Oh, sorry. Well, that's the first time it happened. The guy said, no picture. I'm not allowed to film the pizza. Apparently, I can film everything else in Costco, but I'm not allowed to film the pizza. Um, I'm surprised <laughs> it's so busy today. I come usually on a Wednesday or Thursday morning, and it's, it's nothing like this. I hope I got enough footage for you. Huge lineup to get out. Hey, come see me up. Hey, come see me up. There you have it. That's my Costco trip. Um, I'm going to sit in my car and eat my bulgogi bake. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, I've never had one. 
Looks like it's has some, looks like a Philly cheesesteak almost. Uh, so I'm gonna enjoy this. I gotta get home, get this stuff in the freezer, in the fridge, and then get ready for work. So thank you for joining me on my trip to Costco. Uh, don't forget like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers, everyone. Annyeonghaseyo. See you later. Mm. It's really doughy.